Hey, this is Notzer, and this is the Tier 5 US Destroyer Nicholas. It has 4 main guns, 12 torpedoes, 18 AA guns, a surface detection of 6.7 kilometers, top speed 37.5 knots, total health 13,100. For my modules, reduce crit chance on main battery and propulsion. And for my commander, I have situational awareness, faster rate of fire on my main guns, faster turret traverse, and a lower torpedo cooldown. We are on the map New Dawn, spawned in on the south, headed to B. Love these little islands in this area. I don't see any enemy destroyers. There's three of them. Usually, one destroyer will feel lucky, and he's going to head to B. And I just want to exploit that tendency and destroy him with the U.S. Destroyer. U.S. Destroyers are fantastic at killing other destroyers. They're like mini cruisers in that regard. They've also got the advantage that they have a large complement of torpedoes compared to the Japanese, whereas the Japanese specialize in range. The U.S. specialize in firepower. So anytime you get a chance to drop your torpedoes at close range, you have the extra set to surprise someone who's not aware of the amount of torpedoes you can bring. And we spot this enemy destroyer. And one of my prior videos, another destroyer went through that area. I don't like that. You give yourself very little opportunity to react to the enemy. And I'm just going to unload on this guy. Great turret traverse. I can keep him on the target all the time. And we kill him. We kill him so fast that his torpedoes don't even get to us until he's dead. And I see that there's a bomber squadron overhead. I'm like, bomber, what, what are you trying to do? <laughs> it's very rare as a destroyer that people try and attack me. And I, it's almost comical. Look at this! I'm like down 3k health. That was a crazy bomb and it set me on fire so I had to use damage control. Whenever people use torpedo bombers, dive bombers on me, I'm like, are you serious? Is this gonna happen right now? Because they're just so ineffective. But that, that carrier did a good job. He damaged me a lot. I can't be as aggressive as I would like. I see that there's a couple enemy cruisers in between B and C, and I'd like to exploit one of these guys. It looks like this cruiser's headed for that gap that that enemy destroyer used. And I see that there's a friendly destroyer, so I just can't use the ambush that I wanted to. I would risk killing him. That's not worth the risk. I'm going to just use my guns. This is a St. Louis with the default hull, so he's probably down. He doesn't have quite the guns that a fully upgraded St. Louis would have. St. Louis is a very effective ship against destroyers, so you got to be very careful not to give the St. Louis too much of your ship. And I take a huge shot from that battleship. He completely destroys one of my guns. And we're setting up for our torpedo attack. We use our port side. And we aimed at him, and the St. Louis is so slow that he can bring himself to a complete stop. Ah! Torpedoes go past him, but hey, we got another set that we're going to send out. Don't think he expected this. He's adjusted his heading slightly, so it looks like we're going to miss some of the first set of torpedoes. But we're definitely going to land one, and we cause flooding. We've also got a fire on him. And the second set looks like we're going to land him. And he's going to blow up. And we avoid that last salvo by him. And we've got 3.7k hit points, but two enemy ships are dead. <laughs> I think we've given up a little too much health for those two enemy ships. But if you're in a scenario where you're close range with a US cruiser as a destroyer, you've got to be very careful. Very careful. They will kill you very fast. It only gets worse the higher up, too. So, identify your targets and treat them as serious as they are. Now, Friendly's just killed that destroyer. I was telling my team, hey, don't let it reach the carrier. 
And we don't let it reach the carrier. Carrier is too important to our success. I killed him off. I'm headed to sea. I see this Merminsk. Also looks like he's headed for the carrier. He's very far forward, clearly. There's, what, five of us? And he, he kills off a friendly destroyer in that area. And now there's only four of us there. So, the Merminsk is basically the Omaha with, I believe, better AA. And they've loaded Russian torpedoes on it instead of American, so they have greater range, but they're slightly slower. So you need to be very careful. And I was feeling pretty sneaky. I know that I'm not on anyone's radar. Clearly, the situation awareness hasn't popped. And I was like, at first, okay, he's going to use this island. He's going to pop out. No. No. A full 360. And he's ha he has a heading where he's going to possibly intersect with me. And I figure this will probably be a textbook scenario to use the island to shield my torpedoes. I have plenty of range. So I send out both my torpedoes on my port side. That's six torpedoes total. And this Merminsk didn't see me until just now. And he's going, what the fuck? <laughs> see you later, Merminsk. Nobody likes you anyway. <laughs> Oh, uh, he says, sneaky bastard. Oh, uh, love it, love it. So we we can head on over to sea. Notice we're still not on radar. We didn't fire our guns. If you fire your guns, you will remain on the radar longer than if you were to just drop your torpedoes. So ideally, as a destroyer, if you're in a scenario where you're in range for your tor torpedoes to be effective, you don't need to fire your guns. You should use that as a chance to stay stealth once the target is dead. Once the target is dead completely, they can no longer provide spotting information to their team. So, we also have a... what looks like we could get in range of this enemy battleship. We probably got in range a little too much. He can definitely see us. He didn't see us release the torpedoes, though. But I believe he's reading it correctly. He's turning a hard left, so our torpedoes will be ineffective. And I really just want to try and find a way to get over to an island and attack him. And he is not interested in me. I believe he's looking at that friendly battleship at I-4. And yep, yep, you see the torpedoes didn't have enough distance, and he had already maneuvered. It's really important that you as a battleship read the situation and understand the goals of the enemy. Destroyers want to kill you. They have no mercy. They are your hard counter. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but Wargaming made sort of a open beta video and in the video they're talking about, you know, rock, paper, scissors stuff and I am definitely the paper to the rock of the battleship. I just counter it hardcore. I can angle effectively, and this guy tries to drop. Can you believe this? He tries to drop his torpedoes on me. How rude. We're just trying to maneuver it. Let's be careful. Slightly move it in. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. But, oh, okay, there, torpedoes ended. And we're heading straight for the enemy. But yeah, hard counter to battleships. We can get in close. We're able to maneuver in between the battleship shots. Really the only thing the battleship can do is try and have HE loaded, secondaries set on the enemy destroyer, and try and cripple his modules so he can't either maneuver or his engine gets knocked out, or maybe you take out his torpedo tubes can't really use AP on them though, so you have to commit to fighting the destroyer. And we got these nice islands in the way, we're trying to get close. These two battleships think they've got everything in their favor. They have... They only know that I'm capping it. They don't know where I am until this enemy 
bomber is flying close to me. And yep, he spots me, and I'm like, eh, crap. Well, I think he kind of wants to drop it on me, too. Yeah, so I pop smoke. I'm like, I don't even want you to drop that on me. I would like to capture this. Yeah, ooh. He misses. <laughs> Just barely. Couldn't be any closer. Got these two battleships. We capture it successfully. We've got all three bases. And just trying to size up the enemy. Trying to decide if it's worth my time at all to go after these two. Because they could work together and they could kill me very easily. And I really don't have that island that would give me an advantage. The closest island to them is north and it's something like five kilometers off. So you really can't use that ambush tactic that I used on the Merminsk. But I can use it to fire on them. And I see that a friendly is sort of successful with the torpedoes. But I can use it to fire on them. Oh, and they, they looks like they're kind of turning into the island. But I'm like, eh. I'm not going to deal with these guys. I'm going to go after the carrier, because I think he's close. Based on the rate that aircraft are being thrown up into the air over here, I have a feeling that the enemy aircraft carrier is somewhere in the 10-9 line and near E or F. That's what I feel. And any time a carrier thinks he's this... Yep. Oh, look at who we got. You didn't think I would go this way, did you? The last time you saw me, I was headed for the battleship. These Japanese carriers are very fast, and they have pretty good stealth when you compare it to the U.S. carriers. So, we're going to just get close to this guy and torpedo him. Or would love to set him on fire so he can't recall or send out aircraft. And just look how thin his armor is. We're getting Citadel penetrations with HE as a destroyer. It's really quite <laughs> unbelievable just how much of a paper target these guys are. And fully aware of what the enemy aircraft are doing. Don't ever lose sight. Use your mini map. You need to get close to these guys. Yep, they dropped. And well, that was a weird drop. There's been some weird drops recent and they land. Unfortunately, we have yet to set them on fire. But we're getting real close. Almost in that 100% accuracy range for torpedoes. And we're not going to give them a chance to maneuver, that's for certain. You can see that we got them lined up, dead to rights, send them out. And you know what? Cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> they just blow things up and they walk away. Oh, tried to bomb us. Eh, unsuccessful. <laughs> I would love to kill this guy before the game ends. Just trying to get in range. Get some damage on this guy. He's going to take some torpedoes. Ah, only one of the three was successful. And I'm like, screw it. Send it out. Get it over there. But the tick rate is just so fast. Game's over. I hope you guys enjoyed this game in the Nicholas. I certainly enjoyed surprising the Merminsk and of course killing destroyers and carriers are always thrilling. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys next time.